everybody, it's Diane from Tattered Edges Design with another Bustober creation. This is prompt number 17, which is friends. And naturally, Buster had a lot of friends. This is one of them, Bartine Burkett, who was the leading lady in the high sign, which is what this is from, which was Buster's first made short under his own studio, but it was not his first released short, if you, you know, really care. But anyway, she was in that, and she had a bit part in um, Seven Chances, and they were friends, you know, off screen, not romantic friends, just friends. And uh, she has given, or did, I shouldn't, gave, how about that? <laughs> she gave an uh, interview or two when she was older, talking about Buster and, uh, you know, the old days, so to speak. If you want to look that up, it's kind of interesting. But anyway, so that's what I'm doing. And this is sort of a quick do it thing because I had no intention of doing this today or even tomorrow or anything, but it's quiet here. <laughs> I kind of have, you know, the craft space to myself. It's later in the day. It's quiet. It's like I have time. I thought, you know what, I should really, really take advantage of this. And so I'm taking advantage of this. And, um, well, why is this cut out like this thing? And, okay, let me explain this. I cut part of it out because there was a coat hanging on the wall here, right up against Buster, back of Buster's hair, and so it, it ran into it and it was all dark, and I didn't like it. So, cut it out. So, as I started to kind of come around this way, I'm thinking, I don't know if you see that. I'm like, you know, there is no way, because I know me, you know, a man's got to know his limitations. Um, the little tip of Buster's nose and hers, which you really can't hardly even see. I know I'm not going to get that right. And like her lips and that. So I left it alone so I wouldn't mess it up. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to do like a fun painty thingy background, glue it down and then pull the paint and that over that, which I still run the risk of painting over their noses and whatnot. But at any rate, I thought that would give me a better chance of maybe not doing that. So what I usually do for this type of project, I don't think I've really done one like this so much yet. Um, I just take random, and I mean very random, it's an old pack of fun. I got a big bride magazine here from... 2013. Um, very random stuff. Color, not color, whatever. And glue it on the background. And then paint over it. And it's sort of, um, you know, let show through what I want and don't want. It's, it's, it's fun. It's easy for me anyway. It's, it's something. It's what we're doing is what it is. So, no, it's not too glary. I keep putting stuff over here and it glares for everybody, I know. These pages are kind of neat. They're, uh, they're not matte, but they're not shiny. I don't know if it's those higher, higher end magazines where they like coat it or something. I thought I would just kind of piece a few things here and then pause and glue so you don't have to watch the gluing because, you know, it's just too fun. And I'm not sure if I cut out Buster's hair right. It looks a little off to me. I, But he didn't have hair down, you know, on the nape of his neck. So I, my plan is to hopefully make that area a little darker so I can camouflage that. And I'm probably the only person that would notice that. I don't know. Do you notice that? Do you think it's off? Don't don't tell me if you think it's off. All right, well, due to the barkies, I had to pause and edit a little bit. But so here we are. And I did kind of wind up going a little bit of a color scheme, and I don't know that it matters because it's going to get painted over anyway. But there we are. 
And now I don't completely cover the whole surface and I'm not even sure if I want it down this far. I mean, they're awfully small there. I'm not sure. Anyway, now I'm going to pause to glue it down. Okay, I'll be back again. Okay, take two for this segment. I started it and then there was some noise. So I had to pause. So anyway, all I started doing was gessoing and I'll use air quotes because I forgot to bring up my gesso but fortunately there's white paint in this bin so we're just using white paint instead of gesso but anyway I was kind of ram in a rambling way explaining that I just don't have any big plans I just want to kind of slob on color and have fun and goof around This is a file folder in case you weren't getting that from the top of this. You were right, it is a file folder. And, you know, in case you've never done this before, you can see how if you don't slob on the paint, I'm trying to say, um, the magazine paper shows through, which I think is pretty cool. And obviously you can control that with how much paint you do put on. I mean, I think that's kind of fun, just like that. Maybe knock back a little more of this text here. Well, I think that's kind of cool. A little more here. And of course I have to let this dry. But I was thinking, what about a couple rings, circles, stamped if you will. Yellow, white. Let's try yellow. This is a in case you missed it, I did use this in another one. I don't, I don't remember which one. It might have been the first bust over. It's the spool of a used up washi tape. It's good, because I'm all painty. Maybe another one like in this area here. Or maybe another color. Should I go white? No, because I got yellow all over the brush. That's better. Yeah, I'm even doing it left handed. What do you think of that? Alright. Now what do we think? Yeah, I like that. Okay. Do we want some splatter spatters? And what color? Good question, because as much as I like this, and it will be more into you know, ma you know, matching when that's filled in. They're I was going to say, they're, they're standing out so much because of their clothing and that, but maybe that's a good thing, right? Let's think about what color spatters we want. Do we want maybe dark? Because there's nothing else dark going on at the moment, at any rate. And I'm thinking, as I'm closing the paint, because I'm not sure. Well, let's try dark. Um, I guess I'll call black. That's a 
little thick there. Okay, let's try it. I'm gonna step back so I don't get my shirt or anything. I don't really want them everywhere. I think that's fine. I'm not gonna push it. All right, I guess I gotta wait for this to dry now. So I'll be back whenever that is. Okay, it's dry, pretty dry, and curling, and they're glued down. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a better brush here. Let's see if I cannot screw up their faces. I don't care if I go over what I think. I don't know, what do you think? They're in a shooting gallery. I think Buster's holding a box of cigars, but I can't really tell. So I don't really care if that gets covered up. And I don't have to cover the whole thing entirely as far as that goes either. Now, if you notice, the black has kind of faded out a little bit, the spatters, which is okay. I I guess I would prefer it hadn't done that, but it's all right. I can live with it. I could always do more if I really wanted, but I, it's all right. I can even see the way it's curling. <laughs> and it'll, you know... I can weight it down, or it'll flatten out by itself over time. I'm not worried about it. And this is totally just sort of for fun. It doesn't matter anyway. All right. I want a little white in there. It looks a little uh, murky. Is that an art term you hear very often? It looks murky. No. Of course, in the time I was off, I could have got the gesso, right? I still didn't think of that. Well, that's okay, we'll just use white. And I forgot I was gonna try to camouflage that maybe his hair isn't cut out right. I mean, it looks okay, but to me, I, I've i seen pictures of Buster so much, I get, tell it. It's off a little bit. I don't know. Like I said, if it, I cut it too tight or that's not cut tight enough, I don't know. One or the other is kind of off. Well, you can still kind of see that, but I don't really want to, <laughs> I don't want to put black behind it because the reason it looks off is because I cut away black. But then again, there's this black line here. How dumb would it look to sort of drag that over? That's okay. Except it's seeping into the collar of his shirt. Do you see that? <laughs> I've never heard that happen before. It's okay, but I really didn't want that to happen. All right, now my other thoughts were, um, since this is a file folder and it has this, you know, that tab up there where you're supposed to write your contents, you know, title, subject, whatever you want to call it, I was thinking of stamping friends there, but since we have all this negativity, I mean, <laughs> this is not much of a finished product, I thought maybe down here I should uh, magazine letter piece together the word friends in sort of a bigger font. And let me set these paints aside. So I grabbed the um, Brides magazine again. I, 
It's not, believe it or not, for magazines it's fat, there isn't a whole lot of exciting fonts in here. But towards the back there was some more, I thought, interesting ones. Maybe I'm all wet, huh? Green S. I don't want a green S. Are you a glittery? And I'm kind of letting this dry anyway, so that's why I'm wasting everybody's time looking at a magazine. Well, actually, I'm not seeing. Well, there. Can you see this? I can't see that. Those colors are pretty good. But what letters are you offering us, though? There's an F. An Arnie. Oh, just a minute. We're cutting off camera here. They're not that big, though. I kind of wanted them bigger. Oh, there's an F. An E and an R. Is there an I in here? Yeah. No, would you believe there's no N? Oh, wait, there is. Oh, there is. Okay. And an S. I don't see a D. My kingdom for a D. There's no D in that ad. That's got a lot of nerve. There's a D. I'm actually, I was going to say I'm not too wild about it, but it kind of goes with the spatter effect. All right. They're still not as big as I kind of wanted. And it's still wet. All right. Let's trim these up. putting it on it because it's wet. I'm kind of surprised it's dry out. These letters are awfully close together. F R I E that's crooked. And I can't pick it up either there. E and D. Now oh, we listen to Diane spell friends. Okay, last one. Okay. Still wet. Well, I guess I have to let it dry. I don't. I can't glue there, so I will come back in a little bit. Okay. Well, we're glued down, plus the addition of some flowers, and I spared you flipping through catalogs and gluing and or cutting and gluing. Let's get that in the right order there. So anyway, I also forgot to point out, I did trim off part of that picture. It doesn't matter now, but I trimmed it down to the line just in case anyone was going, "What happened?" So anyway, here we are, kind of warpy and bendy and all dry. So I don't think it's done, but what does it need? I'm not sure. If you've been watching my other ones, I'm probably going to say some kind of border or something. I also have these little stamps. I was kind of thinking of just a couple little designy things somewhere, but I don't know what. If we continue the flower theme, maybe I'll do that. 
and I was thinking, even though it's got black all over it, maybe a few colors plus black. So I should be smart and do the colors first, right? And I'm trying to stamp off some of this black that's on here. I 99 point, you know, 9999 times I stamp with black ink, so I don't clean really clean these or anything. I just stamp them off. I don't know. Let's here we went. Let's cover the black. Let's get this pink thing here. I don't even know how well it's gonna stamp. Let's try it. Oh, that's pretty good. Okay. And you can't see it. Well, no, you can't see. <laughs> kind of can down here it's too dark up here you can't see it up there what would yellow would look like just as an experiment let me try that now I've got pink on it well it's kind of mixing with the black, so I don't know. Well, nah, you don't see it that much. Okay, that's not worth it. All right, now that we've got black ink on the yellow pad, let's put that back. And let's just try black. And why did I put flowers on there? I. It definitely needed something. Why I chose flowers. Um, I think color for the color. And I have them. Um, I think that's adequate. I'm not gonna overdo it because it's gonna look like too many little things buzzing around. Okay. So now we're kind of back to, does she want a border in some manner? And the answer is I don't know because I kind of thought I would leave this tab on just for fun. So this is just for me, just goofing around. I probably will not frame it or anything anyway. So that kind of puts a kink into a border. I also thought of outlining them in like, you know, pink or orange or something, but then we're back to their noses. That could be fun. Let's try it. Why, why not? I got orange. I got a couple pinks. Let's see. This is our little try it out sheet. That's awfully dark. What is this other pink? I do have other markers I could go get. Oh, that's better. How dark is the orange? That's fine. It's just orange. All right, well, let's try pink. Why not? And you can watch me go all the way around. Because that's exciting. Can you watch me complain about going around his nose? Or listen to me, I guess. No, I didn't say too much about it. I can't tell what his shirt is. It comes in here. I think we'll, I don't know, should we just end it there then? Because I'm not... You know, he's holding a box. Maybe we'll just end it there. Just end it. Actually, the other set of markers I have comes out thicker, a thicker line. I if that would be better. Which I could still put another pink around this from that other set. Let's see. Yep, 
Yeah, it's not very bold or thick. Or... Alright, hang on, guys and dolls. Let me go get my other markers. Okay, the markers have appeared. And as you can see, I've got a lot of pink. And no, I don't know what some of them I know. I don't know what they, they're so similar. I don't know. I don't know what, you know, color they really are. And you can't go by the caps. I mean, that's just, to me, that's just hot pink. And it comes out like, almost like red, really. So, here's my big tip. Don't go by the caps. What is this one? Mm -hmm. Although this one's pretty close. That's not bad. It's a tad. Yeah, uh, just a tad. I mean, purpley. That's not what I want either. I know this one's pretty bright. Oh, this more orange. Yeah, see, does that look like that? No. Maybe we should save that for the orange color, though. Well, the rest of these are kind of light. Let me try one more. Yeah, no, that's too dark. Well, uh, uh, that's not really what I want. Can we quick invent a different pink color? What about this one? Well, that's not too bad. All right. You get back in there so I don't get mixed up. And I don't know, do we not want to watch Diane continually go round and round? Let's tell you what, I'll do this one so we can get an idea. Maybe I won't even go around again. kind of neat in my opinion when you do this it'll the markers are essentially kind of transparent so they'll pick up the background values if you will so at some places you'll see it the marker and some places you won't yeah, that's kind of fun do we want to watch it go around again let me go around with this one and then that might do it like up here where the paint is dark you can't even see the marker which I, I think is fine and I have really don't know other markers are more opaque you know higher end markers this is just sort of an average mm, leaning towards cheapy set All right. Well, to be honest, you don't see it that much. Is that a good thing? Do we want it to stand out more? Just leave it alone. Could outline them in black. But I, I don't know. I didn't think I really wanted to do that around their faces. So, so there. All right, I'm gonna leave that alone for the moment. What about a black border though? And I kind of thought, since we do already have this as it is, I could just carry that down. Or I could go around the whole thing. And how much of this am I gonna cut off? I have no idea. Because really, when it comes down to it, I, I don't need all this space down here. It's not doing anything. Or I could even continue a dotted line. <laughs> There's too many choices. Maybe a solid line. You're not sketchy. A nice solid crisp line below that and coming down. Let's try that. I've got 
black right here. So let's do this first. And I don't know how far over we want to go. Pretty close, I think, to the edges. All right, are we straight? I think so. All right, well, see, I like that better already. I think we'll come up. It's about here. So how far down is that? Five. Okay, we'll go five. Okay. Yeah, I think I like that. I gotta tidy up the corner there. I'm wiping off my ruler. Actually, that's, you know, pretty, pretty okay. Let me get the thinner black to do the corner there. Some sort of white gel pen action. Uh, here, like, like I don't know, just dots or dots in the flowers or around the flowers. Let's try in little dots in first and see what that does. I won't do too much down here. Okay. Oh, I missed one. See, I didn't even see that one. Oh, what the heck? Let's go around them. This is kind of a, you know, painty, sloppy, mixed media thing. Why not? Actually, I kind of like that. isn't a whole lot of point to do it down here, but we'll stay consistent. I'll do it. Okay. Let's see. That's kind of fun. Kind of perks that up. Well, is that done? Let me hold it up to me. I don't know. I think that's kind of adequate. Do we want like one flower in here though? They're all sort of like, you know, around the center without... Let me do that. Where exactly would we like it? Well, I don't want it, you know, like right between them. It'd be kind of dumb. That's fine. Not like I can erase it anyway. Alright. Yeah, I think that's better. Otherwise, it kind of looked like I'll explain it, but like 
part of the background was missing? Why isn't a flower there? Does that make sense to anybody? All right, I kind of like that. Let's sign it. All right, well there is friends, and I'm gonna say number one because I have a second idea. So I'm not signing off right yet. So I will be back. Okay, I'm back like about, I don't know, four days later or something like that. It's been a long time. Between goofing around with this other project I'm gonna show in a minute and life in general, here we are. So anyway, I was just gonna show, I did go around in that darker pink marker. I just, it didn't show up the other one. So I did that on that. And then here is number two. Yeah, it's kind of silly and I don't know. I I thought it was kind of predictable. I haven't seen anybody else do anything like this. And um, without giving, you know, a complete history of silent film, I'm just, you know, I'm probably talking to nobody who knows who any of these people are, but like I said, I'm not gonna go into a big thing, but they all work together at one time or another. It's Al St. John, Roscoe Arbuckle, his dog, Luke the dog, Buster, who always gets wet in most, in 95% of his films, Alice Lake, Sybil Seeley, Alice Mann, and of course, it's a takeoff on the TV series Friends. And it is all um, cut and paste. It's not Photoshop stuff. I don't know if you, I can prove that, can you tell? Um, it, they were just sized to fit in there right. And this was just printed off the internet too. And yeah, was actually I can say it was printed off the internet and it was sort of tinkered with because it was a little, um, you know, fuzzy, pixelated because it was enlarged apparently. So I went around it with a marker to make it look better and went over the dots again too. So I thought that was kind of fun, you know. So there you have it, folks. This is prompt 17 for Bustover Friends. So thanks for joining me and have a nice day out there.